folks, Ivy Sarah Rochelle, and welcome back to Ivy Playing Toki Tori. In this one, we're just off to level two of the slimy sewers. Yeah, the slimy sewers. The green world is pretty much what it is. I got one vacuum. How many slugs are there? Two slugs. I feel like... Am I on the hard levels? Because I feel like I did this one before. Nope, I am on the hard levels. Hard two. Okay. Do I go up first or do I go down? Hmm. First of all. How do I do? Do I have to go up and around? Do I have to warp up? Hmm. I'm, I'm just kind of observing. Because I can't get to this area unless if I warped and then warped. That's interesting. I'm gonna get this one first because I can. He'll go down this way. And then I'll go down this way and then I'll go across. There. Oh, actually I could get him. No, yeah, he'll go. I'm just, I'm gonna just do the bottom part of the level and then I'll see how the top part is. So, oh, oh well, that's interesting. Good to know. Good to know. I got myself trapped there, okay. This, what, warp. So, you have to warp here? <laughs> Otherwise you won't get it. Oop. Bye bye slug. So you can warp out this way. And then I got those ones. So I have to have one warp for the bottom part there. That's all I need. So for the top part, let's start over and do this. And this one I was going to be talking about kind of my thoughts on this project so far. And I know I had kind of talked about that in the credits. But specifically I want to talk about this as game versus this game for a let's play. Um, because there is a difference. And I discuss that a little bit in my Twitter feed. But usually you want something, if it's a puzzle game, you still want a puzzle game with some sort of story or something to respond to a little more and this is a great puzzle game i highly recommend the game but if you're going to be doing a let's play i don't recommend that for that oh look at you could stand right in the middle and he'll go right underneath you probably so this is my problem here i could do this and i could do that didn't help me really much I can't. I can warp across that gap too. I need one warp though. So, thing is, if I warp across, I can't warp onto it. I wait a sec. That's too. I'm gonna place my bridge here for a sec. That's what I thought. So there's not much I could do there. I know I have two of these blocks. I have no idea what I'm supposed to use them for, because that doesn't help me. I mean, technically, I could go like this. Oh, so this game, I do highly recommend the game. It is a fun puzzle game. I'll probably do a, a more detailed description um, at a later point. Or like, um, the, I did a game review type of thing for Assassin's Creed. Syndicate. Okay, sorry about that guys, my phone went off and it's uh, sound from a different game so I might have had to cut a part out of it this because uh, they, I can't, I don't want to like use something else's sound into this because copyright is probably the best reason. So what I was saying is I did a game review for Assassin's Creed Syndicate on PC and in that one I kind of outlined like gameplay, graphics, and blah blah and like just uh, it divided into sections so I had a little more in depth and could like think it through better than this. But this one I'm, I do highly recommend the game uh, from what I've played of it and which is all the normal levels and about half of the hard levels I think. I have no idea what to do here. I'm just completely lost with what to do here. Because I can't warp here. Like, if I place a block here, does this... I'm just going to mess around with this. 
Because I only have one warp that I can use for this. Do I need that slug? Where does that slug end up going? It gets trapped between those two, huh? He. Well, that's gonna have to be a race down there. Yeah, looking at your blueprints is pretty much what I'm doing, Toki. But this game, I do highly recommend it as a puzzle game. If you want a fun little puzzle game to go through and play in your free time, I, it is perfect for that. Like, it is, it's a very well done puzzle game. The thing is, is when I'm do- I had no idea what this game was about coming into this, so like, that doesn't always help decision making, but I did know it was a puzzle game. The last game I did on my channel was Portal, but that one is a puzzle game as well as very involved- sorry. I moved my mic. Uh, as well as very involved uh, story-wise, and so- that one I had something to respond to as I was going through the puzzles, and uh, I had played it before, so I had at least a bit of a solution. I'm just running back and forth with no idea what to do. I mean, if I could get up onto there, I could warp off across from there. Well, that's a solution. Uh, go back farther. Because my thought here is I could go like uh, here. This. But I can't get onto this. And that's my predicament. Is I just can't quite get onto that. But this is a as so portal had more of a story i know like i switch between talking to you and thinking it through and it probably sounds weird it sounds weird to me in post but that's just what my how i'm speaking at this point in time and like how my brain is switching between the two um i mean i could warp across here but that does not help me at all i feel like i need to place this halfway down but I don't know how to, like that would help me at all if I'm like down here. Can I warp to anywhere from here? Nope. Plus I'm stuck. I can't do that because I'm stuck. So I have a feeling I have to put the bridge here. Why? Well, I don't know. I can't warp to the other side of that now. But... As, uh, like, so this game, uh, Portal was good because it had a story, it had, there was somebody talking at you, so there's an interaction that I could have with the game. This one, the only interaction the game I, w the only interaction with the game that I could have is figuring out and solving the puzzle. Oops, I was facing the wrong way. Um, but with that, wait a sec, is there any way that I could get... With that, um, it does not make for good commentary when um, all I'm saying is, oh, I think I have to do it this way. Even though I still haven't quite figured out how to best counteract that, I guess. Okay, that doesn't... Oh, wait. Wait a sec. Can I work up from here? No. What if I did? I haven't used anything except for... What it? That was interesting. I wonder though, because I could always just go here. Can I place the block here? Um, but so this one, like I said, and what I've been doing is I just have to stop and think about it. And there's no interaction that I could s like have as I'm thinking about it uh, because it's j there's no dialogue going on in addition to this. Um, and there's like there's just that lack of 
things to do, I guess, like things to talk about other than like the worlds and stuff. And I usually address that whether I like the worlds and uh, like the look of the world and stuff like in the first couple episodes. And then end up repeating it when I do the hard levels because I'm back to those worlds that I haven't been to. This one is probably, wait a sec. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted... Nope, that's still the same height. I need to be like up one block. This is a thing. Okay. I want to do that. Actually, I want to actually. Eh, I can't words. I want to put it right. So it doesn't really matter if I put the bridge where, well, where I put the bridge. No, that was fine. Um, and so this one, like I've been saying, it just has less of that uh, interaction that I can have with the game because um, there's just not a dialogue that's telling you about it. There's not like an overarching narrator or anything to happen. And that's why like games with either some semblance of a story to them are good for Let's Plays and just in general. And this one is not necessarily good for a Let's Play. It's a very fun game to play. Just maybe not the best choice for a Let's Play. And that's kind of what the summary of my Twitter feed was when I posted it. Uh, it was around the beginning of the hard levels. Or the end of the normal levels that were more difficult. The bottom part is no problem. Except for the, like that one in the worm that I have to try and figure out which one I need to take up. But I have a feeling I have to warp in from the bottom here. But I don't know how to might use my two bricks and a bridge to get there. What if I did... Oops. Yeah, there's there's good. Um... I mean, I could use... Nope, I can't even use two warps to get up there. And so for this, like, this game in general is a good game. But that's just generally a thing of choosing games for Let's Plays. Is you have to have one that you can interact with more than just... Hum, huh, I can't f figure out how to solve this puzzle at this point. And then in which case you do get the solution. And if I was doing more of a walkthrough, I'd just go and give you the solution and talk over that. I'm not doing a walkthrough. I'm doing a I be playing, which I call it... I refer to it as a let's play because that's the style of video, but I'm calling it an I be playing because my username is I be Sarah Rochelle. I be playing this game. Um, and you're watching. I could say that you be watching, but it'd be up watching. And that would be, although some <laughs> sometimes the username gets referred to as Ibsera, which is not wrong because it's spelled like Ib, but it's, it's I space B space Sarah space Rochelle is how it's said. Just as an FYI for anybody who was wondering, even though I say it at the beginning of the each episode. Um, and so that's why it is a Let's Play style video, but the problem with the word Let's is it's an abbreviation for Let Us. And technically you as a viewer are not watching, you're not playing, you're watching it. So um, it's an IB playing. I'm playing and you're watching, if you are watching. If you aren't, that's also okay because like not everything's for everybody. Um, and so, this type of game, though, is not really conducive for a great set of commentary, unless if I'm talking about topics other than the game. And in that case, it's taking away from... It's not taking away from the game so much as it isn't as focused on the game as it should be, uh, I think is what I want to say. I think that's what I want to phrase it as. And that... Like, I still need the thing to get up, but I'm still too low. So maybe that isn't the way. Maybe I should try something else. I have a problem with this game where I try and do one thing consistently over and over again because it's going to work eventually, and sometimes that's just not how it works at all. And that's a lot of the time when I play this. I wonder... Okay, go to this spot in the ladder. If I can... Go like this. That wasn't quite what I wanted. No, I can't place the bridge there. Yep. 
So, if I put it here, though... Can I place the bridge here? Nope. Oh, I can. Okay. So, I can place a bridge under these hanging things, but I don't know how that really helps me in this case. Because even if I then warped across here... That's how. That's how. That's how I do it. I don't know why I need the bridge. I I figured it out, guys. Some see, once I tried something new, it worked. And sometimes that's just in life what you have to do is what you're doing just may not work at that time. That's why I need the bridge. Literally, they... Okay, I need to start over, though, because that one worm is in the wrong spot. And I'm trying to, uh, but that's why I need the bridge, is because of reasons. Yeah, I'm gonna let you... Oh, actually, wait a sec. There we go. This I have to be fast. Uh, and that was not fast. Okay, go. Go. Come on. Okay, I might- I'm trying to figure out which worm it is that I need to absorb. And apparently it looks like it might be. Okay, this is interesting. Because now it's stuck here. Because it will fall through and go this way specifically. And I can't... Do anything about that? Like, there's no way I could warp down into there. But then I wouldn't be- I only have the one warp left in the one vacuum. And if I warp down, that won't work. Because I need to warp across here. But my problem now is this guy. Because I need to get that worm and then warp across. Oops, I missed it. Uh, and then pick up that. Uh, so I was saying something about Let's Plays and I be playing, and specifically this game, which has been the entirety of the thing. I now have to go figure out what this does. So I'm gonna go watch this worm as a- okay, why do I keep reminding when I just should restart because it's better? What if I get this? I don't know if that helps. Cause here you will go under there. You won't fall down anywhere. Is there any way I could do this upper part without using a bridge? Because if I put a bridge there, he'd fall down this way and it would take a little longer. Maybe? I'd also be facing the wrong way. But even if I went down to get that one first, it wouldn't help. Um, I'm going to try something. I don't know if this will help me at all. Um, oh, actually no, that will help me. So I just need to figure out the top part using one less bridge. Because the reason I'm doing that is- oops! Oh, that was very poor timing. That's, that made me jump a little bit. The sound effect did. <laughs> I get- jump scares like get me every time and that could just be my phone going off and like there's a reason I don't play scary games. It's because I- I, I just don't play them. So can I go through here without using all my things? Okay, that's great and all, except I need really need it on that side. Because the thing is, is, I don't have a bridge now to get it back across. I only have the warp, and if I place this one as far over as I can, I still can't fall down here. So I'd end up stuck at the end, unless if I warped out. But I can't warp out, can I? No, there's no way to connect those without me using a warp here. And I have the one worm absorbing. Because, like, my thing is, now is I could beat the worm down, which is totally fine. Mm. And then, yeah, I just... Oh, except I'd have to go... Let's see. Um, I'm going to ignore the stuff right here for now, just so I could show you what I'm thinking of for the bottom part. Because I want to see if I have enough time to do that, because now I have to refigure out that top part without using the bridge. There. Okay, go, 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 go. Nope, I probably have enough time. If, you know, I remembered that I have to go... 
Up the ladder again? Oh, what do I need? I need the vacuum. Okay, I was running and holding down A. Apparently you can't hold down A. But so this game does not necessarily work for, um, maybe I do. It is that one? No, it's not that one that I have to get. Um, and so, though it is a good game, it is not conducive for a style of video where you are supposed to be talking about... Okay, so that doesn't actually save me much at all if I do it that way. Uh, rewinding here. Thank you, I would like my bridge back. Bridge back! Actually, if I don't get that egg, it does the same thing as the bridge. So I'm gonna do it that way, so I get to save my bridge. And I can do this part. And that way all I have to figure out is this bottom part. So just to move the video on a little bit at a time. Uh, I'm going to do it piece by piece. Do -do -do. Where's my warp? I need this here. Okay. Okay, so I was... I forgot you could just not get this egg first. And then this guy's trapped here. Here's the thing. I can't fall down here. Otherwise there's no getting back up and I won't be able to get this egg. Because I need the warp for down there. I also need the vacuum, but I, there's no way I could get that one on the bottom without using the vacuum for that one. Because I could get... Yeah, because I'd either have to use two warps to get down into there, or... One warp. I wonder if there's a way for me to get the swarm. So it goes into the little hole on the left side. Oops. I moved the wrong uh, joystick. This little hole here. <gasps> yes! Yes, because I can turn it around. Oh, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I forgot that's a, that's a thing. Nope, I didn't want. Oh, when it's facing you, that's right. Okay. Nope. Um, how do I do this? Cause I can't land in that, and I can't walk over it. Oh, that's wow. When it just goes over, I do that. Um, I move, because that would be a bad idea. See? Okay, got it. Cool, I just had to remember that the vacuum has two purposes. One is change again. So this game, although a very good puzzle game, and highly recommended, um, which I'll do a full review once I've finished the game, including the like bonus levels or whatever they are, um, is not good for a Let's Play, where you want more of an interaction, especially if you're doing... A single person commentary like if there was somebody else to comment with you'd have some sort of interaction there always has to be an interaction in these types of videos to make a commentary that is worth watching and with a lack of any sort of um, interaction that I can have with the game as I'm a single person commentator I have to somehow create commentary using either like other um, outside media sources being like um, I'm going to say current events, but I'm not discussing the current events because that is just something I don't plan on discussing on my channel. I apologize if that offends anybody, but I'm not going to currently discuss current events. Um, unless if it's somebody doing a good deed, and then I might discuss that because those things are just joyous and need to be shared in the world to create more joy. And I know I'm just standing around not getting this last one, but I want to finish off this thought that I've had for a bit. Uh, well, for a bit in this video. And so, uh, I have to, like, come up with other ways, things to talk about. Like, I've talked about the Seahawks. I've talked about random facts about myself. But still, it switches back and forth between me thinking and me talking about these things. So, I think I'm going to try and just find, like, a topic for each video to talk about. That's not bringing in um, external... Um, because of the thing is, a lot of times, I want to talk about other games and just because I like to discuss them I like to have a conversation especially ones that are highly story based that I would like to play and some of them I'd like to play on this channel so we could have a discussion about it then as well as interact with the story and everything but I don't that's taking away from this game I feel like I think it just takes away from the current game that I'm playing especially if it is a good puzzle game it's just not conducive to an IP playing series. It's not conducive for that style of video. 
Um, unless if I am talking about other things. So I think what I might do is just try and bring in random topics and things that maybe you want to talk about or want to hear my opinions on, but these are probably going to turn into Sarah has an opinion on blah blah thing or I just really like a thing. A lot of times I might end up just discussing things I like and it might be movies because I'm not going to do like, you can't do an IB playing of a movie. It'd be an IB watching and that would be illegal. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, unless if you had extreme commentary over it and obtained the movie rights, which I am could not obtain movie rights. I don't unless if it was probably a sponsored video. And there is nothing wrong. Just as a general thing, I am perfectly okay with other channels and things doing sponsored videos and such because there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, and so go right ahead and do a sponsored video. None of my videos are sponsored because I am a small content creator that has very few viewers at this point in time. So I, I have that in the description that I have at the bottom of every single one of my description is saying that this video is not sponsored because none of them are sponsored. But I do link to the sites because I do recommend them. So I'm like, I want other people, I want to share these games as, with you, the viewers. And so I want you to be able to look into them yourselves to see, oh, maybe I would like to play this game too. Because a lot of the, when I watched Let's Plays, a lot of the times I went in and I'm like, that looks like a cool game. I want to be able to check it out. And you know, a quick little Google search, Google, Google search, Google search is easy enough to do to find out information about the game. But this way, because it's something that I am currently like, that's what part of what's helping to create my video. I'm going to put a link in the description to their site. They're not sponsored videos. These are just games that I have either wanted to play for a long time and have in my Steam library that I just have not played yet. So I'm like, here, I'll play it for you and make a video out of it. Even though they haven't been great videos all the time. Or they're games that I really enjoy and want to share with you. And that's, I think, a good premise for choosing a game. If you're going to choose a blind game, choose probably one with a little more story than I have. Because this is a blind, I have knew nothing about the game other than it was a puzzle game coming into it. I had it in my Steam library. I'm like, I want to play this. Might as well make a video <laughs> series out of it. 30 videos in, and I'm still not done with the game. <laughs> and it's pretty much gotten down to like one level an episode just because I'm sitting here trying to talk about things and trying to solve the level, and I switch back and forth in my brain and my talking, and so they get to be a little longer. And just when they were just me solving the puzzle, they were still longer anyway, so it's not much longer with me talking about life, the world, and things. But, uh, for the Let's Plays that I'm going to be doing, or the IB Playings, I'm calling them IB Playings, I should refer to them as my own name, even though that's the style of video that they are, is going to be games that either I enjoy and want to share with you, because that's the best principle for choosing a game, because that way I'm more um, involved with the game in the first place. Like, if it's just... If, in fact, it is a game that I like and enjoy, I'm always going to be more involved with it because it's something that I, well, I, I enjoy and I want to, like, share. That's like with books and every in movies and stuff. It's like, I would rather share things that I enjoy than things that I don't. Because that's, you want to share goodness in the world. And if you think a thing is good, you want to give it to every person in the world. And that's what I'm doing here, kind of. Even though this is a blind game. So I'm sharing a great... It's a very good puzzle game. Like, for all my naysaying about this as a Let's Play, or I be playing, I need, to, I need to fix my brain to so I refer to it. It is a very good... Let's... Uh, not Let's... <laughs> I'm, I'm broken again. It's a very good puzzle game. Not so great for an I be playing, but a very good puzzle game. And I know I'm just talking at you and doing nothing, but I'm talking with my hands, so they're not even on the controller half the time. Um, and so that's why I think a lot of um, Let's Players do is, uh, like for the ones that aren't sponsored Let's Plays, is that they got started because they wanted to share games with the world and they tend to choose games that they enjoy and want to share with you, unless if it's blind and then it's like, a lot of times for games that I have not played before, I play games that I hear good recommendations of. That like my friends have recommended to me and other such things, or that I've seen videos of, I'm like, okay, this looks like a cool game. 
So I want to check it out and I want to play it. And a lot of times, especially the highly story based ones, I watch like the first video and then I'm like, okay, I want to play this game and don't watch anymore. And that's not that I don't want to support that person. It's the fact that I want to play the game instead. And I don't want to get spoilers, especially for story based games. Puzzle games, on the other hand, you get spoilers because it's solutions. But if you pick up the game and play along, that way you could like be like, oh, I did it. Like if there's ones with variable solutions this game is very strict like there's this solution for level and that's it um there's a couple levels that you could probably finish without using all your items which i did for one and there's actually an achievement for that that i got and i don't have it so you could see the overlay when the achievement pops up and i apologize for that but this one is very linear to solutions some puzzle games have alternate solutions so it's always nice to go through and see somebody else do it in a different way because you get to see a difference in thinking and that's just a general thing about the world is that people think differently and it's always good to discuss with them and to see where that thought process com coming from because we all have different experiences and it's all nice to see those come together and how it influences the good in the world and that got really uh, existential isn't quite the word or anything but really big picture-y about just generally life in the world, which I already caught through part through, is always try a new way. If something isn't working out, don't keep trying the same thing. Try something new. I need to stop giving advice in these videos. Although it's not bad advice. At least I don't think it's bad advice. It might be ba bad advice, so I apologize if it is. But try something new. Puzzle games are fun. I highly recommend this one. I be Sarah Rochelle. I've been playing Toki Tori. And thanks for watching, peeps.